<laughs> so true. I'm passing the phone to a girl who left her family for dick and legs. Okay, well, I'm passing the phone to a hungry heifer that lost her life to an apple. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm passing the phone to someone who was so rough on the face, people actually believe she was a boy. <laughs> okay, Miss Two Dimension. I'm passing the phone to a girl who fell in love with Bigfoot. It was a curse. But I'm passing the phone to a blonde bombshell who was dumb enough to fall into a coma over a needle. <laughs> well, I'm passing the phone to someone who had a whole curfew because they were afraid of their stepmommy. Not anymore, okay? I'm passing the phone to a girl who kissed a frog just to open a business. Show the fuck did, bitch, and I'd do it again. Move around. Move around, ho. You don't know me. I'm from New Orleans. I'll whoop your ass. Thank you all for coming. I would like to say my vows first to my one true love who was parked right outside. Excuse me. You've all been waiting for it, so here's part three. First off, Pocahontas would not have long flowing hair. She would wear it down in long braids to show her marital status. When they would get married, they would cut it. Second of all, Pocahontas was only 10 years old when they came to America. Next, the women didn't wear tops. They would wear a shawl during cold times or just something around their legs. So here it is. This is my rendition of how Pocahontas should have looked. Here's a painting of Pocahontas when she was 14. They shipped her out to England to get married and to show that they could tame the savages. She then later died from the diseases white people brought. Once upon a time not long ago, I was a girl who won a prince and it looks like I'm still looking. Okay, we went to Hot Topic and found these cute princess pins, and we got 11, so hopefully we have a whole set. It is the first one. Oh, Rapunzel! Number two. Oh, it's Belle. Belle. Next one. Oh, it's Belle. Oh, dang. Oh. Okay, next one. Ariel. <gasps> Jasmine. Jasmine! Oh, we're doing so good! Oh. Okay. Oh. Gosh, dang it. I just gotta open so I've been asked if any parents have ever gotten mad at me while I've been a princess at their parties. And honestly, I haven't really had any parents ever get mad at me, but I've seen some mad parents. And the first story that comes to mind is a really good example about why if you commit to something, you really should follow through with that commitment. Because at my party company, if you were gonna have a party of more than I think 25 kids, you were required to pay extra to hire a character attendant. So that way all the activities could go smoother, we could make sure that everyone was taken care of, the princess could be kept safe from, you know, maybe some out of control kids, what have you. And I remember we had a party where we had a hired character attendant who came with me because it was supposed to be such a huge party and there was almost like no one there. I was able to handle the kids that were there completely fine on my own. My character tenant basically did nothing but keep track of time for me. And the whole time the mom was on her cell phone leaving some very colorfully worded messages for the people that didn't turn up.
Something about who I am or what I'm not So call me a pessimist But I don't believe in it Finding a true love case is bullshit Pessimist, but I don't believe in it Finding a true love case is bullshit Oh, hey, look, it's Elsa, and she's even wearing a wig. Wow. Would you like to touch my hair and see for yourself? You're not even a real princess. Well, you're quite right. I'm not a princess. I'm a queen. And you know something else? I am dear friends with Snow White and her dwarves, and you remind me of one of them. Does anyone want to guess which dwarf he reminds me of? Grumpy! That's right. Grumpy. Dead to throw this shit for the birds on ghosts And if you don't dive in the pussy like dolphins If you don't dive in the pussy like oceans Swims like About who I am or what I'm not So call me a pessimist But I don't believe in it Finding a true love's case is bullshit But I don't believe in it Finding a true love's case is bullshit
Hey guys, it's Anarchy, and this is part three of me trying to cosplay every single Disney princess. And today, we're doing Snow White. Now, she's not my favorite Disney princess, so I was fine spending as little money on her cosplay as possible. I found a pretty good one on Amazon for $90, and it just arrived today. So I did my makeup, her red lips down, and everything, went downstairs, got my package. And when I tried it on, I noticed it's actually really nice. Um, the only problem is I ordered a size too small so it doesn't zip in the back, but luckily the cape covers it. And so I went out and took pictures and it actually looks really good. So Snow White, we can check off the list.